Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. I'm an herbalist and an herb grower. Today we're going to talk about how to dry vegetable garden seeds. So once we've gone ahead and harvested our seeds, and today we're going to be talking about fennel in particular, we can go ahead and either leave it on the stalk in many cases, or we can go ahead and start to remove those from any stalk that those seeds may be attached to. That allows us to ensure that they're completely dry and we can inspect them for pests or any kind of parasites that might be growing inside of them. It's most important that we ensure that they're dry. So you need to make sure that you select, and I prefer actually someplace out of the sun where there's a gentle breeze blowing through and ensure that it's fairly dry. In some areas of the country where there's high humidity, you want to make sure that you bring those inside so that they can dry properly uh, in an air conditioned room. Or even some people, if they have a dryer inside, they'll actually put it near the dryer because that air is going to be very, very dry from the heating elements of the dryer, but not so hot that it's going to actually destroy the living organisms that's inside that seed. So once we go ahead and remove the seeds, we can go ahead and put them in a plate. And I actually prefer something with a white background so that we can see if there's any insects in there, in which case we want to either throw that batch out or find some way to go ahead and get rid of those insects. And of course, in storage is important. Usually after we've harvested a seed, we need to store it until the next planting season. So what I recommend is once they're completely dry, wrap them in a clean paper towel, place those inside of a baggie and try to push out all the air but make sure that you label your bag. It's so easy to forget which seed is which, and not all of them have a distinct shape. So I always, and rather than write it on the bag, which sometimes gets wiped off, I'll actually get a piece of paper, write that particular seed, and I find it helpful to put the date that you've done it. Sometimes we end up with a collection of seeds, and a lot of them may be a couple years old, and you're not gonna get a very good germination rate from them. So make sure you put the name of the plant, when you harvested it, and go ahead and put it either in your refrigerator over the winter or store it in a cool, dark place. And you're going to end up having seeds that you can use after every planting season and you can select the very best seeds from the best plants to ensure you get a continual quality crop of different herbs and vegetables. So this is Bob Lindy talking to you about how to dry your herbs.